Hello, I'm Paula Anderson, Chief Nursing Information Officer at University College London Hospitals. This presentation describes how UCLH used their new electronic health record system to enable nurses to deliver and document evidence-based, individualised nursing care across the whole trust while also reducing the documentation burden. UCLH is a large central London trust with 13 sites and a nursing workforce of about 2,500 nurses. We specialise in women's health and the treatment of cancer, infection, neurological and gastrointestinal and oral diseases. It also provides critical care, imaging, nuclear medicine and pathology services and is about to open a protein, proton beam therapy service. Digital technology enables our practice, changes how we educate and share learning, how we research and how we lead. Electronic methods of documentation present a unique and systematic way of documentation that will streamline the process and prevent the repetition of data collection. UCLH needed to rethink the opportunities and challenges that digitalisation would afford us. In 2019, UCLH implemented an integrated electronic health record system, otherwise known as an EHRS, providing a single record for all elements of patient care across the trust, including a patient portal. The nursing leadership team took this opportunity to embed theory-based nursing practice into the digital workflows and documentation. The aim being to support delivery of evidence-based patient care and structured data collection, which would enable our local exemplar ward accreditation programme to gather real-time audit data and to support our research ambitions. Our digital developments have enabled us to hardwire into our workflows and documentation, standardised theory and evidence-based nursing practice, something that was not possible in a pre-digital world. The standards we built into the EHRS form a core competency for the fundamentals of nature nursing practice. It is not simply about documenting care. Our EHRS is an intervention with evidence-based decision support guiding nursing practice. Our analysis during the implementation of the EHRS showed over 600 nursing paper care plans, 200 different nursing documentations and a handful of mandated risk assessments. There was no process for ongoing review, audit or maintenance. Nurses also documented brief assessments and admission booklets and we had no standard holistic nursing needs assessment. The Trust had unwarranted variation in the assessment of patients, huge variations in the holistic planning of care with limited use of goal setting and long-term planning that would then support transitions of care and discharge. Despite previous reviews and changes to nursing documentation at the UCLH over the years, lack of standardisation prevailed, with nursing knowledge too complex to capture in paper-based free text care planning approaches. This was because so many combinations of nursing diagnosis, interventions and outcomes exist. The implementation of the EHRS presented an opportunity to change this and to reset nursing practice to realign the documentation framework back to the nursing process. Our ambitions consisted of implementing a standardised structured needs assessment, providing a core set of care plans utilising evidence-based nursing diagnoses, outcomes and interventions to support holistic patient care. However, we recognise that if such ambitions are to be deliver the anticipated benefits, we must also consider this as a long-term strategic goal where the benefits are delivered over time through the relentless pursuit of nursing excellence. UCLH's ambitions also included the use of structured data and terminologies to aid research and interoperability of data between digital systems and care settings. We achieved this by involving nurses throughout the design and implementation of the nursing process and digital documentation, and by ensuring it is used as one of the contributing factors to the way we understand nursing excellence in organisations. Using data from digital systems provides the opportunity to understand nursing practice more deeply, making nursing documentation and outcomes more visible and accessible to other healthcare professionals. 
We reviewed a number of terminology options, including the SNOMED-based care planning elements from NHS Digital, digital content from a number of commercial suppliers and the North American Nursing Diagnosis, Nursing Intervention and Nursing Outcome Classifications, otherwise known as NANDA, Nick and Lock. With NHS Digital decommissioning their care plan elements just prior to our decision making, UCLH chose to implement NANDA, Nick and Lock with their associated mappings to SNOMED CT. NANDA, Nick and Lock were adopted for the potential to rapidly deliver evidence-based nursing content in the EHRS. Nursing diagnoses are different to medical ones, as a medical diagnosis deals with diseases or medical conditions. A nursing diagnosis deals with the human response to actual or potential health problems and life processes. A nursing diagnosis is a critical part of the nursing process, being the first step in identifying how we should plan nursing care for our patients to improve patient outcomes for which nurses are held accountable. NAND and Nick and Lock care planning fits into the nursing process by starting with an assessment which identifies key nursing outcomes to be addressed. These are supported by a list of nursing interventions that can be tailored to the individual patient's needs. These interventions form the basis of the nursing care plan and progress is documented against the interventions as the patient moves towards the outcome. The concepts and theories of NAND and Nick and Lock are taught internationally, but not at all in the UK, it would appear. We found that nurses from overseas had exposure to these prior to coming to work in the UK. Our knowledge gap was in the UK trained nurse. In 2017, with the implementation of our EHRS underway, we took this opportunity to change our practice while creating a digital nursing workflow. UCLH introduced a structured holistic needs assessment integrated with risk assessments with shared data and care planning using NANDA, Nick and Lock. A group of nurses of different grades and specialties were co-opted to work with the EHRS build team to design a holistic needs assessment and build UCLH agreed care plans into the nursing workflows in our EHRS. Bringing together experts in nursing practice, systems design, data analysis and standardised terminologies meant that we had the collective expertise necessarily to deliver goals of the Nursing Excellence Programme. The group went on to design a holistic needs assessment based on Marjorie Gordon's framework for assessing health and health management allowing for critical thinking and nursing diagnostic language to be used. Our underlying message was that the nursing process should start with a holistic needs assessment that allows for nursing-led diagnoses, leading to the documentation of expected outcomes and associated interventions, all individualised to the patient. We would then document an evaluation of care against the plan, outcomes and interventions. The patient is reassessed and plans adjusted as needed. We created a set of principles to support the design, build and decision making processes and these were not without their challenges. A co-design approach yielded significant engagement of nursing staff that had a positive impact on adoption of this way of working. We created a database of UCLH care plans from the NANDA, NIC and NOC data initially choosing 30 nursing diagnoses based on the fundamentals of nursing care or domains are connected with KPIs and sequins. These were then reviewed by a group of subject matter experts in order to streamline the outcomes and interventions to ensure that they were user friendly and that they also aligned to the NHS system while keeping their meaning. We ran design sessions with the subject matter experts and then moved into usability testing which were carried out across the trust covering all the main sites. Nurses were given the opportunity to see the processes involved in completing the nursing needs assessment, generating care plans and the evaluation and documentation of care. The feedback from these sessions was very positive, especially the flow of the assessment and how it automatically triggered the care plans. However, there was concern that each of the diagnoses had too many interventions attached, which did not support a user-friendly design. As a result of this, a re-review was carried out and the interventions per care plan were reduced to contain only 10 to 15 per outcome per diagnosis. 
nurses could, as appropriate, add additional interventions if needed while individualising the care plan with the patient. How it works. Stage one. Our holistic needs assessment uses charting by exception. The nurses document the abnormals, decreasing the time spent by nurses documenting normal and allows for abnormalities to stand out. This is a departure from the usual assessment process where all information is documented. Where the nurse documents an exception, the EHRS expands to provide further questions and allows for a completion of a more in-depth assessment of the problem. Stage 2. The EHRS provides the ability for the appropriate care plans to be automatically triggered from the nursing needs assessment. Nurses can choose to select or not, allowing for clinical judgment to also be applied. Stage 3. The nurse selects outcomes and interventions that are individualised to the patient by selecting from the nursing interventions and the nursing outcomes classifications. Stage 4. The care plans are then documented against as the shift progresses, giving rise to constant evaluation and reassessment of the patients and their care. We also built in clinical decision support to provide referrals to other healthcare professionals based on our holistic needs assessment. Nurses can add care plans as needed without the trigger of the holistic needs assessment should their clinical judgment decide this is appropriate. A nurse lead educator was, educator was employed to prepare the nurse educators and EHRS trainers to work with and teach the new nursing documentation framework, ensuring our nurses were ready for the change. This included education on Gordon's functional health patterns, Nanda, Nick and Nock, and the rationale for moving to these new ways of assessment and the changing way we would document care for patients. The lead nurse educator, now the nursing information officer, and the EHRS trainer continue to provide updates and ongoing education to the nursing community at UCLH. Early results demonstrate that the nursing content build has been adopted across all in the inpatient areas. Nurses have moved from a paper-based system to planning and documenting care in an EHRS that provides decision support. Early findings also show improvement in the documentation of nursing care. The use of real-time dashboards with real-time data allows the nursing team and the nurse in charge to view the completion of documentation for a patient, a group of patients or for the ward. It allows the nurse in charge to audit in real time why nursing documentation has not been completed, as well as indicating other missing documentation, for example, the VTE assessment. This may impact patient safety, therefore allowing the nursing staff to follow up with other healthcare professionals. The nurses have moved from multiple different assessments and over 600 homegrown care plans to one international evidence-based holistic nursing needs assessment. 30 triggered care plans and a library of evidence available within the system to support their practice. A lack of reliable accessible data prior to the implementation meant that the most common nursing diagnoses were not known. It is now possible to use the data in the system to identify these and develop the EHRS further to prompt care plans. Evidence suggests that there's been no increase in the time nurses spend documenting. Audits of nursing documentation and care planning are built as metrics within our exemplar accreditation model, which encourage the use of real-time data provided in dashboards to improve the standard and timeliness of patient assessment and care evaluation. The digitally enabled evidence-based nursing process is being widely used by UCLH nurses to deliver holistic care for our patients. This bespoke nurse-led development of our EPIC electronic health record system has had the additional benefit of wider adoption of all elements of the system by UCLH nurses and contributed to its successful implementation overall. The data available on nursing care as a result of this work means the foundations have been laid for the longer term goals of the trust and the nursing agenda. These include 
making the impact of nursing care more visible, enabling the sharing of information about patients' nursing needs and plan of care across the whole health system, enabling better research into our nursing practice, and using artificial intelligence and predictive modelling to more effectively identify patients at risk of avoidable harm. Thank you.